Hey everybody, Mr. Magatash here, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to set up and configure your brand new Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. There's a lot of questions going around. Will it work with any M1 Mac? Will it work for T2 Macs? What about Macs that are older? There's a lot of questions, and I'm gonna cover all those, including how to set up your brand new Touch ID Magic Keyboard. Let's get started. So let's walk through a setup. I've got an M1 Mac Mini here, so let's go into the System Preferences, the Bluetooth settings here, and this will show all available keyboards. So all we need to do is turn it on, and there's our magic keyboard with touch ID. All you need to do is click connect. And now the keyboard is connected and we're automatically brought to the touch ID. That's how you can tell right off the bat that the compatibility is there. So now let's walk through an exercise to add the touch print. Now all we need to do is click add fingerprint. And what it's going to do is we're going to go through a security feature for the Touch ID keyboard. What we need to do is quick press the power button twice to securely connect the secure Touch ID sensor with the secure Enclave on the Mac Mini. So all we need to do is hit it twice. And now it's saying that we need to add a password for the fingerprint. So we'll type in the password. Now we can set up a fingerprint. So let's put your finger right there and you can do it multiple times to be able to fill the first set of fingerprints. Once you've got that fill, you gotta do the second set of prints. You gotta keep going. And then done. All you need to do is click done. Your first fingerprint is added and it can now unlock your Mac. Use Apple Pay. You can use it for purchases on iTunes Store, App Store, and Books. Your password autofill and then use Touch ID sensor for fast user switching. So let's try that out. The first thing that you need to know is that it can automatically lock your screen. Just hit it once and it locks the screen. Now all you need to do is put your finger there and it'll unlock the Mac. How cool is that? That's how to set up and configure your Touch ID Magic Keyboard with M1 Mac. Let's talk about the security. When you pair this, it is only paired with this M1 Mac. Mac. You cannot bring it back to the M1 iMac, for example, and use Touch ID. Once you remove this from this machine, you can no longer use the Touch ID. It can only be set to one M1 Mac, but you can use multiple different fingerprints from the same keyboard if you have a family, for example, or multiple people that are using the computer. So that's really nice. To remove a fingerprint, all we need to do is hover over it and click X. But what we're gonna do is we're going to disconnect this keyboard and connect it to our T2 2018 Mac Mini and check the compatibility there. So to remove this, all we need to do is go back into the Bluetooth settings here, and then we can hit the X button here and saying, are you sure you wanna remove the Magic Keyboard? This device will not reconnect automatically and you'll have to connect it again after you use it later, remove. Now that that's gone, it shows it as being able to connect again, but it is no longer paired with this machine. Now, if we go back, we notice that the Touch ID is gone and we just lost the connection. So that's how to securely remove the keyboard and move it to another Mac. And that's what you would do too if you were on the iMac and you just wanted to move it to your M1 or even your M1 MacBook Pro or Air. So now let's switch over to the T2 Mac Mini. Okay, now we're on our T2 Mac Mini and we wanna be able to see what functions we have. Do we have Touch ID? Will it just work as a keyboard? Will the Touch ID to lock actually work? Let's try it out. So let's go into the system preferences. We'll go to Bluetooth and we'll wait for it to show up. Again, as long as we have the switch on, it'll show up automatically in the devices that it wants to pair with. Click connect, and if it doesn't, just cycle the key, cycle the power off and back on, and look, well, now we're connected. So now notice that we didn't get any prompt to secure like the double press for the password or double press for the power button that when you get on the M1 MacBook or the M1 Mini. Touch ID doesn't work, sadly. So we'll go back here and you can see there's no Touch ID settings. But what does work is the press the Touch ID to lock the screen, which is a really cool function to be able to leave your desk and immediately lock the screen without touching any of the keys. And we'll log back in. Now that's how it works on the T2 Mac. Now let's connect it to an older Mac that's not T2. Okay, now I've brought our trusty 2016 12 inch MacBook. We'll log in here and we'll go to the Bluetooth settings. And there's our magic keyboard and we can click on connect and we're connected. So now we can hit command space to be able to do spotlight search. Now let's try the touch ID button to lock the screen and it works. So how cool is that? So with a T2 Mac 
and a non-T2 Mac, the Touch ID functions to be able to at least lock the screen, which again is a pretty cool option if you want to be able to get this keyboard and maybe plan when you plan on getting a newer M1 or M1X or whatever it is in the future, you'll be able to use this keyboard with Touch ID as long as it's in M1. Now let's get back in and let's make sure that on the older Mac, the emoji key still works with a text field. We'll hit the emoji key and it does work. So that's another function that does work all the way back to previous generation Macs. I hope this video helped you understand the features and the setup of the new Magic the Magic Keyboard with Touch ID. If you like this video and it created value for you, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, you know I really appreciate it. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.